Wayne Schmader was an outstanding interior lineman who played football at Warren High School from 1941 through 1944. Highly regarded by Hall of Fame coach J.B. Leidig, Wayne played a variety of positions to include center and both guard and tackle positions. A key interior lineman, Wayne was utilized a lot as he knew all of the blocking assignments for all the interior linemen. Prior to graduation in 1944, Wayne was aboard a troop ship on his way to the European Theater of War when he received his high school diploma by mail. Assigned to the 410th Infantry, Wayne entered combat in November that year. Hospitalized for two months, Wayne was reassigned to the 39th Infantry Regiment in late July to play football for the Army. Following the conclusion of the war on May 8th as Germany surrendered, he played football for the Fighting 39th through late 1945. Highly successful, Wayne was a starter on that championship team. Discharged from the Army in 1946, Wayne returned to Warren. The Warren Red Jackets semi-professional football team was presently reorganizing with new owners and management. The Jackets had suspended operations during the war as most of the players were involved with the war effort. Wayne was sought out by two Hall of Famers, owner Pete Fanaritis and player manager Harry Rosie Rosequist, to play for the Red Jackets. Wayne was an invaluable player who was a regular starter on the 1946 Red Jackets squad. The Jackets were made up from the top players from regional high school, college, military, and professional football teams. Semi-professional football was a brutally tough, rugged, and a bloody brand of football, especially here in western Pennsylvania. Recognized as one of the finest organizations in the state, the Red Jackets had played the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Chicago Bears, and a team which later evolved into the Buffalo Bills. Wayne and his new squad finished the 1946 season with an 8-2-1 mark. The very next season of 1947 saw the Jackets finish the regular season undefeated. Playing for the semi-professional Western Pennsylvania Championship, the squad played in Erie Stadium in front of 8,500 screaming fans. The Warren contingent was huge, nearly 50% of the gate. Erie and Warren newspapers featured the clash with extensive coverage before and after the contest was played. With snow, rain, and drizzle on the field, both teams were completely indistinguishable as all were coated with a wet, glistening mud. John Imperial reported that the battle up front in the interior line was extremely fierce. Wayne Schmader held his ground as he was the center for the epic battle. Quarterbacks had a difficult time handling the ball. With the score tied at nothing-nothing at the half, the Erie locals borrowed uniforms from a local high school team and came back onto the field fresh, clean, and dry. With that advantage, the Erie squad prevailed with but one score on the afternoon to win the Western Pennsylvania title. As a semi-professional, Wayne earned a hefty sum of $75 for playing in that championship game. The legendary exploits of the Red Jackets and Wayne Schmader will long be remembered.